Hello everyone, welcome back to another CAD modeling tutorial in Fusion 360. In today's video, we are going to make CAD model of idler arm. If you need this CAD model to practice, you can go to my website maxavi.com. Just go to the resource section and scroll down to the bottom. Alright, let us begin. So step one is to change the units to millimeters. For that, I'm going to go to document settings, select the unit as millimeters and click OK. And we are going to sketch on front plane to keep our model in orientation. Make the bottom cylinder first. So select the circle command and keep the diameter as 65. Finish the sketch. We are going to do the cutout part in the end. Go to extrude command and extrude our circle to the distance of 34. Make it symmetrical so our model is in the center. Now select the front plane again. Now we are going to make a circle with the slot. So start off with the, the center line and draw a circle and keep the diameter as 34.92. Now select the line command and make the slot of dimensions 12 by 6. As you can see, the slot is not symmetrical. So I'm going to use the equal command to make both the lines of equal distance. Give the distance as 12 and the height as 6. Press T to trim off the inner circle lines. Now select the circle and draw the outer circle. Draw another line. Give the dimension to the circle as 50. Draw a line in the bottom. Now I'm going to make this line symmetrical. So go to constraints dialog box, select symmetry. Select both the endpoints and the center reference line to make it symmetrical. Now give the distance to the line as 26 millimeters and vertical distance from the center of the circle is 32 millimeters. Now using line command, I'm going to make a tangent line from the endpoint to the circle. Now again using trim command, I'm going to remove the inner circle lines. Now finally we need to give the vertical distance from the center of the bottom cylinder, which is 96. Finish the sketch, use the extrude command. Now I'm going to extrude the complete sketch even the inner cutout section as well we are going to cut out the section later select the direction as symmetric give the distance as 50 click ok now select the front plane again and we are going to make the center body for that let us start off by creating the center line it is always good to start off by creating the center line so we can make our model symmetrical and use the center line as a reference i'm going to use rectangle and make the bottom line coincident to the center and to make the top line coincident to the center of the circle, I'm just going to use the projection command and just turn off the bodies for visibility and easier selection and make it coincident. And give the width as 45. Now this is not 
it's in symmetry yet so again go to constraints dialog box select symmetry select both the lines select the center line and finish the sketch turn on the bodies back using extrude command direction as symmetric and select the measurement as whole and keep the distance as 24 operation as join and click ok now i'm going to make the top cylinder for that i'm going to use the revolve command before that we need to create the sketch on the front plane draw a center line same process using two point rectangle i'm going to draw a rectangle with first point coincident on the center line just give the distance as the radius of the circle which is 22 and using projection command to make the center point visible of the circle and make the bottom end coincident to the center and give the total height which is 166 as per our drawing now fully constrained exit the sketch select revolve command from the create dialog box select our sketch select our axis click on join click ok next step to make the cylinder on the side i'm going to offset the plane with the distance of 36 millimeters and click ok select the offset plane and click on create sketch draw a center line so that it is easier for us to get to the center draw a circle on the center line give the diameter as 28 and give the vertical height which is 96 click on finish sketch extrude change the operation as join the distance is twice of 36 so i am literally going to type 36 times 2 and just click ok so the we need to make the extruded slot draw a center line and keep the distance as 44 press c to draw a circle press x to make it solid keep the diameter as 28 and draw two vertical lines on either side make the line as solid as you can see lines are in blue colors make it tangent to the circle using tangent constraint and using trim command to mount the inner section click on finish sketch go to extrude select our sketch give the extent as two object and select the cylinder make sure the operation is joined and click ok as you can see our model is almost done all we need to do is the cutout part we need to make cutout sections for that i'm going to select the whole command select the face of the cylinder in the bottom and just snap the 
center point of the hole to the center of the cylinder and give the di diameter and extend as through all the diameter is 41.27 click OK now turn on the visibility of sketch 2 select the direction as symmetric and extend as all click ok turn off the visibility of sketch select the whole command again select the top face of the cylinder keep the diameter as 22.22 snap the center of the hole to the center of the cylinder keep the height and click ok similarly select the whole command again and select the horizontal cylinder as you can see the hole on the cylinder is tapped hole so select hole type as tap and select the designation as m12 snap it to the center make sure the hole is through hole the extent of our hole is through hole and click ok similarly turn on the visibility of sketch last sketch we have created select the hole command select the center point of the semicircle flip the direction and the hole type is M12 tapped hole next we are going to make the hole on the side face of the bottom cylinder so for that I'm going to create a sketch select the right face plane and I'm going to create a point at the origin finish the sketch Go to hole command and select the point. Flip the direction of the hole and give the extent as all. And the hole is M10 tabbed hole. Click OK. Now finally we need to give the fillet of size radius 3 select all the edges and corners with this our model is completed thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe